Well, Mrs. Wright had created the whole tradition of Easter. That was quite obvious because she had had all the experience of making the Easter things, the traditional things in both Russia and in Montenegro. So she taught us how to make baba. She taught us how to make Pascha cheese and all the things that went with Easter. So she introduced it to Taliesin and of course it was just Mr. and Mrs. Wright and their daughter and that was it. And then when the fellowship started, then it became a fellowship activity. They always make this bread called the baba. The baba means like a little peasant person because it's, it's shaped like a little fat peasant. And when it comes out of the oven, you have to roll it because otherwise it'll fall over until it's cool. You start almost at dawn. And uh, it's an interesting bread because it, um, first of all, it has this very tall shape uh, accompanied by this, the thing we call the pasca or pasca cheese, which is a, a pyramidal shape. Those two things are the, are the main elements surrounded, of course, by lots of colored eggs and so forth. Those are the, the main symbols, let's say, of, of this event. And one of the things that Mrs. Wright remembered from the time in Russia is that the forms were made out of heavy brown craft paper. So every year when we start the baba process, we get the brown craft paper, cut it up into little circles and make some cylinders and line it with butcher paper, wax paper. And then when the dough is ready, it goes into those forms and it's actually baked in the oven in paper forms. It's quite a task to, to make it all. You have to make the paper forms and you know, it, uh, it's a mass of cholesterol, as we used to say. It's all done with, no egg whites are there, it's all egg yolks and um, flour and yeast. It's a yeast resin bread and it gets very tall and it develops its texture by the fact that it's an all day kind of rising situation. I mean, it rises three times in its uh, whole process, in the baking process. It comes out of the oven, it's quite warm, of course, and it's very delicate. And so we, through the years, have developed a process where we strip the paper form off and then place the baba on a pillow and then there's a rolling process to gradually cool down the loaf so that it won't collapse on itself. And for the first time observer of this process, they're seeing something they don't believe. <laughs> a major importance of the ritual of Easter is the very ritual because the process of getting to the event of Easter is as important as the Easter Sunday celebration. We include pieces that have been sung at Taliesin for many, many years. Those pieces are really permeated with memories of Taliesin, of people who have been here before and who were involved in the music. So all these elements heighten and intensify the whole experience of Easter.
high cholesterol but delicious.